We all thought it would last a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I host a show on uh, MetTV called City Life. Here to talk about hand washing, masking, cutting back on the number of outings that you make. And social distancing isn't a huge issue. I'm happy to do it. Most of the time, it's pretty easy to do. Today, I wanted to share five tricks to save your mental health. Number one, play, play, play. Just have you reconnected to your inner kid recently? Uh, the worst thing for me is the grocery stores. It seems like people are completely oblivious. People come in the wrong way in the aisle and I'm giving them, you know, the <laughs> like of course with the mask on it looks more like <laughs> It isn't easy, but we're all doing it. This is the second wave. We all lived through the first wave and that was rough. We know what to expect. It isn't fun, we know it. We've got to wear a mask, but you know what? I found it pretty liberating. When I wear a mask like this, I only have to do my makeup here. I don't have to worry about the lipstick. I don't have to worry about the blush on. It's not so terrible. And also, seriously speaking, I just realized something. When you wear a mask, it also tells you think twice before you speak. We're cruel on social media. Maybe we're learning a lesson. Number two meditation. The brain will always think. It's made to think. But you can absolutely detach from your thoughts and observe your thoughts. Comfort food. They said I could talk about comfort food. My wife makes this macaroni spaghetti pizza dish. I write uh, rhyming read aloud picture books for children. Lol the mole. Kate the skate. Zach the yak. Also, I'm five episodes into a podcast that's called Rick's Picks, R-I-X-P-I-X. -I -I My main hobby, I'd say, is music. Writing songs, singing songs. I'm kind of curious about what it's going to be like on the other side once we get through this pandemic. But for us to get through it, everyone has to do their part. Everyone has to social distance, mask, wash your hands, and cut back on the number of outings that we do. When you wear a mask, what you see are people's eyes. And people's eyes reflect the soul. And you can tell a lot by looking at someone's eyes. So maybe we'll all come out of this a little kinder and a little more compassionate. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have fun. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stick big lips on this. There you go. Number three is to move. Move that delicious body of yours. Embody that body of yours. Best way to change your state is through movement. Just like mm, bounce, next to your bounce, luscious bounce, 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 bounce. whatever's your jam. You do it, but move that body. Don't stay stuck in your head. It's not a good place to be. And when it comes to caring about yourself, your loved ones, and the people around you, whether it's a relationship or a pandemic, it's the little things that make a big difference. A little bit of craziness. You set an intention for your day and go to bed at night with gratitude. It's gonna change your life. 